Hey folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into my Goody Hall report for the first week of April of 2011. Today is Monday, April 4th, and the weekend of WonderCon has come and gone, and it was an interesting WonderCon for me this year, uh, but uh, we'll go into that in a little bit, but first I want to get... Uh, to showing everyone uh, all of the goodies I got last week uh, before the trip to WonderCon and uh, we'll get started with this here a Mars converter I believe it's called accelerator and I'm a bit of fan of the Mars robots uh, I usually pick one up uh, whenever I see a, a new mold and uh, they're relatively inexpensive you can find them at Walmart or Walgreens and I saw this one at Walmart. It's interesting because it's a, uh, I guess, a move away from the uh, Mars robots. Uh, it looks like these are, they're going in a sort of a direction of the Transformers. And, uh, well, they still produce the robots, but it uh, looks like they're uh, expanding to Transformer-like uh, robots now. And this guy is relatively large. Uh, he's, I would say, in between the size of a Voyager class transformer and a Leader class transformer. It's pretty neat. Uh, didn't expect this uh, from uh, the people who make uh, these Mars robots called uh, Happy Kid on there. And uh, this is relatively inexpensive. It's only $10 on there, but it's very, very cool. And they have other stuff as well or other converters here from classic vehicles to I guess construction vehicles so pretty neat on there and uh, stuff I also found at Walmart I found uh, some Tron stuff which has been uh, heavily discounted uh, it looks like everywhere and uh, this is stuff I found at Walmart and this is here is a black guard that's been reduced down to three dollars and I also have here a uh, another uh, uh, Kevin Flynn light cycle I already have one of these but uh, this was reduced down to seven dollars and I'm thinking about actually repainting this one to maybe yellow or powder blue to more represent the uh, classic light cycles on there but this was seven bucks and I found some Marvel Universe uh, figures over there, some harder to find ones at Walmart. I found a uh, Jean Grey on here, which is uh, not easy to find. I also found a Moon Knight on there, and also a Black Panther. And they're very happy to get this one right here though. At Toys R Us, uh, I've been looking for those uh, Masters of the Universe and DC Universe Classics 2 packs, but they still haven't shown up in my area. But I was able to find another 2 pack, and uh, it was a uh, the, another of the uh, Ninjas vs. Super Spies uh, of Dum Dum Dugan and uh, the uh, Chased Ninja. And uh, this was on clearance for uh, $17, I believe. And uh, But still no show of the other uh, two packs that I'm looking for. Now, now on to my uh, WonderCon trip. And it was an interesting uh, trip for me because uh, uh, this, is gonna, this was my third... Uh, visit to WonderCon and my shortest actually I was planning to uh, spend all day at WonderCon but I was not able to I had to uh, juggle uh, the family uh, and uh, real life in general uh, because uh, half the family wanted uh, to go to San Francisco and visit the sites so I only had a limited amount of time to, uh, to visit WonderCon. Uh, in fact, only spent about two to three hours. So what, which wasn't too much time to do a whole bunch of stuff. I did shoot some video of stuff I found uh, from Mattel. Uh, if you don't want to take a look at that video, I just uh, posted it prior to this one. 
and uh, they had a lot of neat stuff and uh, I was able to find a few things uh, not that many actually and uh, I did bring a list with me I had uh, a list of uh, must have or must gets and uh, I thought I would uh, walk away uh, with at least uh, one of those sets or I wouldn't want to leave until I had one of those sets but uh, and I did I found one uh, out of the 20 uh, on my list and uh, we'll go over what I got uh, first up uh, I was able to find a uh, Marvel Legends Cyclops uh, the Sentinel series Cyclops and uh, this one was only 15 bucks and I uh, got this one at a booth, I um, can't remember the name, that had a whole bunch of Marvel Legends. Actually, a few of the uh, vendors had the uh, uh, more common uh, Toy Biz Marvel Legends. I was kind of surprised to see so many. But uh, some of the ones I was really looking for, uh, like the uh, Spider-Man uh, from the Sentinel series, I only found one set that was selling for $50, and I didn't uh, get that. Uh, but uh, a lot of the more common ones I did see were more readily available and a lot cheaper uh, than I expected to be. Uh, last year, this guy w would have been on sale for at least 25 but seeing this guy for 15 went ahead and picked him up on there. And uh, there were some uh, DC Universe classics I was really hoping to get, um, but I uh, was not able to get them because they're just way too expensive. Uh, and uh, one of those sets was the Guardian set, and there, I only found one set uh, from a vendor who was selling it for $50, which was, I think, uh, kind of outrageous, and he wouldn't budge from that price. I even had my phone with me and logged on to eBay and uh, was able to find one at a Buy It Now price for $20 less, and... I even uh, showed it to the vendor uh, to see if he could would lower the price on his set, and he just wouldn't refuse. He just uh, refused to uh, budge from his price, and uh, he wasn't very nice about it actually. So I just went ahead and bought it on eBay through my phone in front of that vendor. And I just couldn't believe uh, why that vendor wouldn't uh, wouldn't negotiate with me, but and it was uh, I thought I was pretty nice about it, and. Uh, just out of frustration, <laughs> just went ahead and bought it in front of him, and uh, he didn't get my money. I don't know how this guy would be able to sell stuff. Uh, I thought that was the whole point of why he was there, is to sell stuff to to the people going over there. But uh, selling that stuff uh, way overpriced, uh, I don't think he was going to sell anything that day. And uh, there were other vendors like that as well. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, but uh, anyways, <laughs> I just don't mean to to digress, but uh, I was able to find uh, this here, a Captain Adam, at another vendor that was more uh, willing to negotiate, uh, and uh, he was able to knock off a few bucks on this figure, so I ended up paying about $25 for this set, and uh, this is a set that I've been looking, that was on my list, I was looking for. Uh, to help uh, complete my uh, Despero uh, build a figure or collect and connect figure and uh, I only need one more from this set and that's the Batman Beyond which I already ordered online so really it's complete for me on there and uh, my only other item I found uh, with the time of that I had was uh, this guy here and that's the Iron Man concept series Iron Monger, and this is the movie Iron Monger, uh, repainted in his comic uh, classic colors, which is really cool. And I found this set for 20 bucks on here, and I'm a fan of this mold, and uh, I forgot this particular set existed. <laughs> and uh, seeing it at uh, WonderCon over there was pretty nice, and I just had to pick it up, and... Uh, uh, at 20 bucks, it was a uh, pretty good price, uh, and I was just really happy I didn't even bother to haggle with this one. I just went ahead and paid 20 bucks for this guy, which is uh, really, really cool. So, But uh, this is my casual peek into my goodie haul report 
for the first week of April of 2011. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.